Hello, church family in Bloomfield and in Sheraton. Uh, I just come before you uh, today uh, with the blessings of the Lord that I would just love to, to give to you and send to you. I pray that you are doing well wherever you are at. Um, and, and I just want to talk a little bit tonight uh, just about uh, what we are facing as a church and, and as we're looking towards reopening um, our campuses and what that might look like and the plans that we have for that. Uh, and, and in doing so, I know that many of you have heard the governor's statement that all churches are free to have worship services uh, moving forward starting this Friday, actually May 1st. And what we have decided to do is to kind of go a little slower than that uh, in both of our campuses. And we'll, each campus will be a little different. And I'm going to lay out those plans here just now. But we do feel that it's important that we continue to uh, seek the safety of not only our church people, but our families as we are uh, figuring out how we can live with this virus in our uh, communities. Um, and we want to be as safe as possible. We want to extend love to those around us. And one of the better ways that we can do that is by making sure that we stay safe and we stay healthy um, as much as possible. And I know that there are many frustrations out there. I share some of those frustrations, and I cannot wait for the day when we actually are able to get back together and worship. But first and foremost, I'll start with the Bloomfield campus. And, and what I want to tell us is that while we may be able to have services right away uh, based on the governor's proclamation, the reality, reality is we aren't quite ready for that. Um, we want to get some things in place, and we want to have a really big celebration the day that we're able to come back. And um, so while the governor has announced this two-week kind of thing between May 1st and May 15th to see how some things go, um, we are going to wait until after May 15th. In fact, we're going to wait till May 24th uh, will be our first public service here in Bloomfield. Um, and that's as if as long as everything goes well uh, for what the senator or sorry, for what the governor has uh, decreed uh, going forward and making sure there's no, you know, the cases don't rise and all those kinds of things. And as long as the, the governor does not change the, um, the proclamation at all by taking away um, the, the, the ability to meet together again. So we'll see how things go. But May 24th, you can put it on your calendar, at least in pencil, that we will gather together for worship on, on that day. Um, we're excited about that. We do want to celebrate. We will continue to, to have our online services as we have done for a couple years before any of this started. Uh, none of that will change, so we'll be able to do that. If you do not feel comfortable or if you are someone in the uh, uh, at-risk group, someone who is more at risk, please stay home. If you do not feel well, please stay home. And uh, there will be no, nothing wrong with that whatsoever. Uh, you can feel free to bring your own masks. We, will, uh, be, we are working towards uh, coming up with some hand sanitizer stations that we can have around. And we'll have some other rules here that we're going to work on and, and get some out to you here in just a little bit. But that's the big, big step for the Bloomfield campus is we feel that we'll be able to um, have services for those who are not at risk uh, by May 24th. So that's exciting news uh, right there. The second thing that we are going to uh, put in place, though, for right now is no Sunday school. I'm not sure how long that's going to last, even that when May 24th comes around. Part of the reasoning for that is our Sunday school classrooms are small rooms. And so if we're putting even less than 10 people, but putting people together in a small room from different families, we feel that that's a risk that's not worth taking. So we will only have worship on May 24th and moving forward for at least uh, a little while until maybe the governor releases all of the at-risk people to resume regular activities. Uh, the next thing I want to bring up is that on Wednesday nights, we will continue at least until June and, and maybe longer. We'll see with, again, how everything goes and how everything plays out. But for now, we're going to keep all of our online or all of our Wednesday night activities online until June is the is the plan at the moment. That includes adult Bible study and uh, our teen Facebook Live that happens on Wednesdays at 7 p.m. Uh, if this goes longer than that, we will look to start doing some children activities, maybe online uh, at, on for Wednesday night as well. But until we're able to safely bring everybody back in, uh, for right now, everything will stay online for Wednesday night. For our small group that meets on Sunday nights here in Bloomfield, uh, we've been doing a Zoom meeting for the last uh, several weeks, 
And what we're looking to do starting on May 24th, we will be able to resume getting back together for that, but it will need to be at the church, not in someone's home. It will need to be at the church, and it will not be able to involve the sharing of food. So I know that's a big, you know, kind of a deal crusher for me. I love the food aspect of it, but uh, we will still gather for um, a devotional lesson and prayer uh, and, and be able to, to encourage each other that way. And again, that will start on May 24th as well, as long as everything continues on the way that it has been going. And then the last thing for the Bloomfield campus that's going to be uh, going on is our Monday night discipleship class. Since we are at 10 or, or fewer people than that for that discipleship class, we are going to start meeting uh, on Monday night at 7 o'clock uh, here in the fellowship hall. And we will still practice social distancing. Everyone pretty much has their own table, and uh, we go from there. So uh, those are in line with the governor's uh, decrees. And then also the extra steps that we are taking are, are in order to um, make sure that we are safe as possible. Some of the rules that we're going to put in place on May 24th and going forward uh, for at least a little while until, these, um, until all people are available to be free to move about as they please. The first rule is that we're going to sit in family units, so house units. If you, uh, you need to sit with those you live with, that's going to be our, our rule, and that's something that the, uh, the, the, the governor has uh, set down as, as a good idea to follow. We'll also be practicing social distancing. We'll remove or space out our rows so that um, no family units are sitting within six feet of another family unit um, to be able to do that. There will be no greeting time as well on Sunday mornings. I know that that's a big thing that we like to do here, but we'll just need to do that before and after and, and, and on the way to the vehicles and, and from a safe distance and, and please no handshaking and all that kind of good stuff. We'll also cease uh, passing the offering plates. Doesn't mean we won't take an offering um, or we won't uh, have an availability for you to, to drop your checks or cash into a box. We'll probably set something up in the back that you can put those in on your way out as you uh, leave the sanctuary. Um, you can also always still give online at uh, gpnazbloomfield.com slash giving uh, or gpnazsheraton.com slash giving. Those are great ways to give and we appreciate that very much. We'll also we will continue to not have gatherings of fellowship um, things where we just get together to enjoy each other's company, game nights, and, and things like that uh, until, again, we are able to have um, all people uh, free to move about from a governor's decree for that. Um, at the Sheraton campus, uh, things are a little different there, and, and we we're going we're gonna to continue to keep that campus closed uh, until the governor has decreed that all at-risk people are able to uh, be able to move about in public uh, freely. And I don't know when that date will come. Uh, that's a scary thing, but I have talked to several of you in the Sheraton campus. Marcy and I have um, uh, gotten together and talked about this, and we feel that this is the safest way uh, to keep everybody healthy uh, and not be a place that, that is uh, able to have uh, uh, an at-risk situation happen or, or an outbreak happen due to uh, the, major excuse me, the majority of our Sheraton campus being in the at-risk uh, at group of people. Um, so on Sunday nights, starting on May 24th, we are going to have a Sheraton-specific uh, Zoom meeting where, where pe the people of Sheraton can still get online and, and continue to, to love on each other and encourage each other, pray for each other. And Marcy will be heading that up on, uh, on Sunday nights, starting on the 24th. Uh, until then, so this May, May 3rd, 10th, and 17th, you are still welcome, as, as are the Bloomfield people, uh, welcome to continue to get online and do our Zoom meetings together at 5 o'clock on Sunday night. We'll get all that information out to anyone who wants it. Um, but starting on the 24th, it will be for the Sheraton campus specifically so that you guys continue to, uh, or are able to see each other face to face, hear each other's voices. It really is an encouraging time uh, to be able to do that when you haven't seen somebody for quite a while. Overall, guys, what I really want us to understand is that we, we do want to gather. We do want to, to lay hands and, on each other and pray for each other and give each other hugs and, and handshakes and be able to enjoy being a part of the family of God. But we also want to be safe and we want to be healthy. And so these are the things that we have laid out. Our leadership has been in prayer over these things and have, have, have determined that this is the best way forward. So I thank you for your uh, patience in this. I thank you for your, uh, your, your, your faithfulness in giving and watching our online videos. 
uh, it really is an encouragement to me to know that we are still able to, to work together in that way. Let's close uh, just this with a word of prayer. And again, I, I, I ask you to, to remain diligent, remain faithful, remain prayerful. And uh, we will see each other on the 24th here in Bloomfield and continue to see each other online uh, in both campuses. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, I thank you so much again for our churches, our people, Father God. And I pray that you would just pour out a blessing on them uh, where they can just sense your love, your, your movement of the Holy Spirit in their hearts and their minds to know that they are not alone. Not only are they not separated from you, but in spirit, Father God, we are still connected by the blood of Jesus Christ. And God, we pray that you would just allow us to have the patience needed to see ourselves, our families, our churches through this time in the healthiest of ways, in the safest of ways, but in a way that still glorifies you, Father God. So would you just guide us and direct us? We pray this all in Jesus' holy name. Amen. God bless. Have a great night.